This is Dan Seifert with MobileBurn.com, and this is a look at Sparrow for the iPhone. Sparrow is a new email app for the iPhone from the makers of the Sparrow app for the Mac OS X desktop. It aims to offer a better email experience than the iPhone's native mail app while still offering a clean and intuitive user interface. Sparrow's multi-plane design will look familiar to anyone that's used the Facebook app for the iPhone, and it really works well here to navigate the various email folders and labels that are uh, f prominent in email accounts these days. Sparrow currently supports IMAP email accounts, including those from Gmail, Yahoo, and others, but it does not have support for POP3 and Exchange, which might be a deal breaker for some. Setting up accounts is a breeze though, and all the major email ser services are automatically configured. Sparrow offers a unified inbox view, so you can see multiple accounts at once. Here we have a Gmail account and an AOL email account displayed at the same time. Sparrow supports full HTML as well as formatted text, so you can see various colors and formatting in your emails, as well as full pinch to zoom support. Unfortunately, you can't format text yourself when you're composing a new message at this time. There's also no integrated browser, so any links that you click in a message will take you out to the Safari browser, which can be a bit cumbersome at times. Swiping across messages within the inbox brings up an option to reply, star, move, archive, or delete, which looks very similar to the Twitter app for the iPhone as well. This is a nice quick way to manage your messages while you're on the go. Sparrow also has much better support for Gmail's native labeling feature than the standard uh, mail, mail app for the iPhone. So those of you that organize your ma uh, mail through labels can easily do that with Sparrow. Tapping the top bar of the inbox toggles between the inbox view, an unread view, as well as a starred message view, which is a pretty unique interface that we haven't seen before on the iPhone. There's also the ability to manage multiple messages at once. By hitting the edit button, you can toggle, test, tap various messages, and then you can move them, archive them, or delete them as well as mark them all at re as red. There's also a search feature within the, bo uh, within the inbox view, which allows you to search on your inbox as well as on the server. But I found it to be pretty slow when you're searching on the server itself. Composing a new email is done by tapping this shortcut here on the lower right hand side. Sparrow unfortunately forces you to add a contact right away before you can actually compose a message. In the Compose screen, you can tap the top bar to choose between various accounts. But what the coolest feature is, is when you need to add a photo or uh, an attachment, you can do it after the fact. Sparrow allows you to jump right to your photo library, or you can open up the iPhone's camera, snap a photo, and add that. It also gives you a nice preview of the image which you can then delete if you choose not to uh, use it. As much as I like Sparrow's navigation and organizational features, there are some things that are missing that will be deal breakers for some. Sparrow doesn't have any support for any sort of push notifications, so in order to know if you have a new email, you actually have to open the app. It does feature pull to refresh within the inbox, but it's something that you'll be using quite a bit because it doesn't refresh in the background. Every time you open the app, you need to refresh it to see if you have any new messages. That, combined with the lack of support for exchange email, may be a deal breaker for some people. Still, if you can get around it and work, and work around it through various workarounds, which for me didn't really work all that well, Sparrow does offer a nice email management experience and a great user interface. You can pick it up now in the iTunes App Store for about $2.99. This is Dan Seifert with MobileBurn.com. Thanks for watching.